Anyway, thank you very much, Katie, for being here, and good luck for Thursday in the Ukraine, and well done to you as well. And uh, we'll see you next week. It's getting a little bit cold outside. Hi, girls. Why? Well, what's your name? My name is Beloved. Uh, tell me, um, you at Strat today? Did you come in the top three, top five? No, I was seventh in all categories. And how's your day been today? It's been enjoyable. Been enjoyable, as in what way? I've enjoyed it, even though I didn't come in. I loved being here. So you're looking forward to the next competition, whatever you want to do. Sorry? You're looking forward to the next competition, what you're going to do next? Miss Preteen Africa. And where is that going to be? In Pretoria. And when? On the 7th, 8th and 9th of July. Three days. Is that the first time you've done it? No, it'll be my second time. And who's the organiser of that event? It is Caroline Wood. I may say patience. Well, that's going to be a big event coming up. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Right. Hi, what is your name? In fact, I'm going to actually take a walk over here. Um, hi, what's your name? Um, my name is Paul Motsa. And tell me, it looks like you got a crown. Where did you come in today? First, second? Um, second. And how does that make you feel? It makes me feel happy and excited. And so I'm really glad. Now, coming second today, is this the first time you've done Strat? Yes. You've got to do it again next year. Well, I'm sure you've had a great day and you're looking forward to next year. Well, anyway, we are outside again. I think we are going inside. No, we're not. We're actually going to interview the organizer of today's event. I am talking to one of the staff from Top Mode Modeling Agency. Hi, what is your name? I'm Chris Lee, and I'm one of Tremaine's teachers. Now, being a teacher for Top Mode, how long have you done it for? I've been doing modeling for five years by Tremaine, and I'm having, I had my teachers now for two years. That make you feel more comfortable. How did you actually start modeling? Let's go from there. Um, I always wanted to do modeling and my mom never wanted me to do it but when I went to statistics she decided okay it's fine I'm old enough to do modeling now and that's how I started. And did you go from classes or did you go did you actually start off by doing a competition? How did you start? No I started by classes and I'm not big on the competitions I like giving class it's more fun. Exactly. So you can actually train everybody how to walk, not to do in a straight line, things like that. Now tell me more about Top Mode. Um, Shemaine is supposed to be here, but she's a bit busy at the moment, and that's why we have you. Tell me, what Top can you... As a big modeling school um, in Cartonville, and we do a lot of functions. We are, at the moment, we're busy with doing Miss Fochville. We did that last year as well. And Kevin Ellis from Durban came for us and he gave us the design and clothing. So yes. No, for today's competition, isn't it? Or is that no, for the one coming up? No, was for last year's Mia for Fochville. Now today's Strat, all the girls bring their own clothing. And there was a designer, Tanya, Fa, yeah, Tanya was here for today. For some of the dresses were hers. But mostly all the girls have their own dresses. Tommy, what does uh, Top Mode offer here in Cartonville? Top mode, we're mostly big on um, building models' confidence and helping them to improve themselves on etiquette and how to speak nicely and be themselves, to be comfortable with who they are. Now, for Models in Action magazine talk show, it's the first time that we've come to your town. How does that make you feel? Um, it's exciting because to, to get to know that so that people can actually know models and they're not just just models that wear clothes, they actually have a personality and yes, that's good, it's very now, good. Now for all those who are in this area who are not from your modeling agency, what would you like them to know so they can join your agency? There's, a lot, there's another modeling school, so um, I would only say that um, if, you, if you want to be better in yourself and have fun, we are the school to come to. Tell me why. Why? Um, because we believe in our children. Um, it's more about the child than it's about the modeling or the fashion. It's about confidence, yes. Now, for training all the models, I mean, I'm sure it is quite stressful, but like being maybe a school teacher, or is it different? Um, I think there is a difference. Me and Shemaine talked about it just earlier during the competition. Um, in school, teacher, the, all the children there, they don't want to be there they must go but a modeling school is different because the children want to be there so it's 
really enjoyment to give class, class to them, yes, because they actually want to learn. Now, has that been uh, very easy from the schools? Like, because I know uh, we chatted to one of the girls who are going to the Ukraine on Thursday. Um, have you had any models who have been going overseas? Um, yes, we had two models won a competition. They won a shoot in Namibia now. Yes, so there was a lot. And the schools are very happy that the school pupils are going there to these. Yes. Um, good. Now, tell me, um, being with uh, Top Mode and the you know the competitions that take place um, how does that make you feel do you, with the support and when you go to these events which events do you go to which events do we go to um, I don't go to a lot of events which mine does yes um, and we have a lot of support her mom and my mom and her family and all, yes now, after strut 2011 what's your next job what's our next job is Miss Fachville it's now in July and we want to host a fashion show to um, to get funds for children to get blankets for them on the street. Now, tell me about that charity event. What would you like to achieve out of that event? We want to um, get funds to buy blankets for all the children on the street this winter. Yes. And I'm sure that's going to be something very exciting because they're going to be having a lot of charity people there as well to support Stop Mode. Tell me, um, what else would you like to mention to everybody out there on the show? Just that, be yourself and believe in yourself. That's the most important thing you can ever do. And Shemaine ha asked you to um, say anything on behalf of her. Um, no, not really. Not really, she just no. wants you to do it. Well, you've done a fantastic job and um, thank you for inviting us here today. And We do look forward to seeing you at your next event. Um, I think that's in July. And what else have you got after July? We have another competition and then our big end of the year show. Yes. And tell me about the end of the year show because I'm sure you would like to have a lot of models there. Yes. At the end of the year show, it's more about the modeling school. Then we um, reward the children for what they do during the year, for all the competitions they won, for most personality, and yes, just to give recognition to the girls for all the hard work they do. With the modeling schools, um, what should parents know before their kids enter? Because joining modeling schools, I know there's been a lot of problems like that for the older girls when they go overseas and that. What should they know when they start young? Okay, a modeling school is there to help you learn how to do photo shoots, speak well, do competitions. Um, yes, a modeling school doesn't, they don't promote you like in TV, TV ads or that's an agency. You do castings for agency, but a modeling school is there only to help you build your confidence. Yes, there's, and what parents should know is this is to help them. This is not to get them on TV. It's only to help them to go to an agency and then to go further. Wow, Chrissy, that sounds very exciting. Being a modeling teacher, I think that should be quite fun, huh? Yes, it is very fun. I enjoy it very much, me and Shaman. Our passion is the children and to help them be the best they can be. Now for us, Models in Action Magazine talk show, how does this make you feel that we are here chatting to you today? It's exciting to know that it uplifts models and these models can know it's more than just a pretty face and it's more about your personality and how to help them. Yes, so I think it's exciting that it's exposure to the models. Let me put it in this way, would you like to represent your town as a presenter of all the activities that happen here for modelling? Um, this is the first time I'm doing it but it's great fun and I would like to do it again. Great. Well, I'm looking forward to that. I'm sure Christy will be doing it one of these days. Um, we'd like to actually say to everybody out there, if you'd like to be a presenter on the show, you need to enter Action Model of the Year. You can check it out on Facebook. Type in Models in Action Magazine Talk Show or Action Model of the Year. All the details are there. Um, Chrisley, thank you very much for having us here today and we do look forward to seeing you and Shemaine at your next event. Thank you, it's, it's very nice to have you here and I hope you ha have a good evening. Well, that has come to the end of the show here at uh, Cartonville. It's now back to the studio.